the Central Club. <laughs> instead of, instead of uh, taking it into the tongue like you're supposed to, people will sniff it. Yeah, I got it. Anyway, what's going on, people? Welcome to the Central Club. This episode is brought to you by Reinspire Printing and the City Arms, even though today we're in Avonales. So I want to say a big shout out to Gavin. Is it Gavin? Gavin and Beth. Gavin and Beth, yeah. Shout out to Nigel and Sam Patablo as well for setting this up. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the club and hit the bell button to be notified of future content. So as you can tell, uh, I've got two special guests today, uh, <laughs> two previous Yes, we, we've always wanted to get them together, and we finally have. So, cheers to Pancho. Cheers. Yachida. Yachida. Monty. What's going on, guys? And the match is uh, Saturday. It's raining outside, and I've come here to see... What uh, do you mean? You are brought you down to sunny Sampa Tableau. Well, it's not very sunny outside. <laughs> well, it's you know, sunny under these lights. Live <laughs> that. <laughs> Don't get much lights in the Yeah. So is, that, is, that, is, that, is that live out there or live? I'm not too sure. Is that meant to say live? Live, laugh, live? love. Live, laugh, love. Yeah. yeah. Glasses. Yeah. You've been telling me to come down here, you and Nigel, for fucking almost a year now. We made it happen finally. We, we made it happen. You're in downtown little Beirut. Yeah. <laughs> By night time it is. is it By fire? night time. Oh, it's got a bit of a reputation, yes. Yeah. It's like the main high street in Batalba. In fact, it's the only high street. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we're in my favourite. <laughs> we're in my favourite boozer in the whole of the town. This is it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the only place I drink in. If they you want to find me, find me at Avonales. <laughs> well, this, this, this. Like when we came past here, like this is no offence to Gavin because this this shop actually shop. It actually inspires me. I thought this was a corner shop. Then I thought it was a salon, um, but it's not. It's like a bar bistro, and it inspires me because it just shows that you don't. You don't have to fit the mold to have a pub, like, do you know. You what don't I mean? need a massive corporate, but I was saying that earlier. It's just yeah. a nice little independent place where you can come and cozy. Get I guess. Yeah. yeah. I think he was showing me videos last night of, of, of <laughs> something that was going on here, and he looked fucking live. They had like some punk bands down from Merthyr the other week. Oh, fucking and they hell. were fucking up on the fucking bar doing what they wanted to do, rocking yeah. out. <laughs> you wouldn't get away with that in most places. Yeah. They're, they hold a tight ship, yeah. I was going to say, like, Kyle the Ugly, but maybe just the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> the ugly bear. Mm. Yeah, these walls can talk, oh, are you Are you on the uh, 12% lagers there, Cal? Yeah. That's... Bush de Noel. That's a... Uh, Bush de Noel? Well, it's, it's Christmas. Yeah. It's on Tuesday? Oh, no, no, no. You don't drink, do you? No, no, no. Yeah. Sorry. I got my non, non-alcoholic <laughs> large no, uh, I got my 5.2 votes. 5.2 votes. What was it? 5.2 votes. How am I the one with the, with the highest percentage out of you two animals? Well, you fucking, you know, the other burly bastards. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. This is initiation now. <laughs> I mean, you're going to start kicking off, bro, are you? Tackle and hide. <laughs> Pants always said, never drink anything underneath 5.2 volts. You know? 5%, yeah. yeah 5%. If, it's not, if it's not 5 volts, don't fucking bother. That's it. Otherwise, yeah. you end up like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, surely it must not be good for you if it's, uh, you know, another percentage. I reckon you've got less chance of having a brutal hangover on that stuff, in my experience, yeah. which is, you know, pretty, pretty deep. Yeah. Pretty extensive. Yeah, pretty extensive. Yeah. yeah. Well, not hang on. Oh, Lemmy, you absolute fucking knob. <laughs> yes. We Le- forgot to introduce Lemmy. Yeah. 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 Lemmy. 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 He's, uh, he's actually... Lemmy <laughs> has had more appearances on, on the Central Club. Yeah. Uh, who? Let's go. Do you want to say Harrison. something? He's woof, had woof, more woof, appearances woof. than Harrison on the Central Club. What's going on? He, right? he keeps no, knocking, like the, knocking the camera. How is he? Lemmy? Yeah, he's good. He was 10 in uh, ten in October. He's 10 years old? Yeah. Is that I'm, dog years or your years? How are you? Uh, no, how are you? Uh, no, uh, uh, dog years. Seven, seven years, human years to a dog year. I he does. He doesn't look ten. He hasn't got. He hasn't yeah. got grey nose or anything. And he's oh, full I, of energy. I, I, you know, excuse the dog. <laughs> <laughs> excuse my ignorance, but how long do dogs live? Uh, the anything between ten uh, spring spaniels to ten to fourteen, or in okay. other cases they could last up sixteen, seventeen years. I mean, well, fingers crossed. <laughs> I haven't for as long as possible. I mean, it's got to that stage now where I do actually think. Well, I, I sit, I sit yeah. there sometimes. I think, oh man, he's he's you know he's he's 
pen. And, yeah. I mean, you just got to you know, enjoy, enjoy your time. You know? No, you know, what well, I do, you know, like I, I, he's, he's my best mate. Yeah, I think about like, like that when I'm with you. I think make a most to each moment. <laughs> That's really nice, though. Is that a joke or are you serious? You're serious, but joking it, isn't you? Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah. fucking hell. Yeah. I just think that's the way in life, isn't it? Life's too short, man. Life is too short. Oh, well, yeah. well, you know, this is, uh, we're coming towards the end of 2023, yeah, into 2024, and it has been a bit of a wild year, haven't it? In the sense of just what's going on in the world. That's <laughs> 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 planning my movie. Don't start me on that one. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, geez, yeah. Uh, and, and maybe we got to try and keep this a bit positive, but you are <laughs> right. We've got to live... Each moment, yeah. like it's our fucking life. Live, live for fucking, yeah, live for the moment. Live well, in the, each moment to, yeah, like, like it's your last. The world is in an absolute pickle. And, you know, I, I think back in 2020 when all that nonsense was going on, I think from then to now, it's just, I don't know what's happened, but I... I went, down, I went down that <laughs> I went down that rabbit hole quite badly. Yeah. And, yeah, you, and, you and then were I just went, place, really. and then I went, right. I have to stop this because it drove me absolutely mental. Yeah. And then now I just, I just get, I just get on with it. I know, I know there's horrible shit going on in the world at the moment, but you've just got to, you've got to switch off and get on with and doing you. Well, and then looking after happen. those closest to you as yeah, well. Yeah, because we're just talking about anything can happen at any moment with any of us. There's no point dwelling on the what ifs of, you know, what we can control. Because there are people out there who are ignorant to the news and they're living their best life. While some people, are tuned into that shit and they fucking they can't do nothing the if you're <clears throat> as i've got older i i, I mean how can i how can i say this you either some people are plugged into the matrix and they're completely and utterly controlled they can't see anything they can't see past nothing you know i i'm, I'm out of that matrix now yeah. and i see so much and it's just oh, i just feel sorry for those who are still stuck in it which is we're getting, yeah, we're getting, I, that, I, we're getting that punch it, pulled down every single day. Well, you by might the, as well. The elite. Like, yeah. and, 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 and we're just letting them do it. And it's well, just I might insane. as well have, like, mug. Yeah, yeah. Mug, yeah. mug. Yeah. Because we've been blatantly fucking lied to. And they are able to get away with it. Not just one time after time after time. Yeah. Well, do you know, if I got banged up, bro, where are all these messages gone? I'd be fucking, they, you know, they'd be put to right. <laughs> you know, but no, I'm in charge of the fucking government. <laughs> I fucking, I've told you to stay inside for the fucking last three months while your fucking beloved ones die. But no, that's fine. Oh, 50,000 messages just went. Yeah. No, Go no, fuck no. yourselves. It's like, uh, they just get, they're getting away with absolutely everything. And, uh, and, it, and, and it's not even hidden anymore. That's it's the worst the, that's thing. It's not even, they lie into us. Yeah, it's not even hidden. And it's there. It's, it's, you know, it's plain to see. And the corruption and the money that's gone disappearing. But it's cool. They're still walking around. Yeah. And it's like, if you and me did that, we'd be banged up for years. Oh, yeah. It's just poor. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll jump onto this then, because I wanted to bring this topic in sometime. I, <laughs> I think it's fitting right now. Um, there's a film out at the moment on Netflix. It's called Leave the World Behind I watched us. it. I, I watched it with my missus literally like three days ago. What's that, your third of a film? Oh. Forrest Gump. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, she, always, she always says, do you want to watch a film? I'm like, no, because I can't concentrate. I can't watch films. Well, I can watch but then she, she said, well, what? And I saw it. I went, oh, this looks interesting. And from as soon as I started watching it, I saw the NASA T-shirt. I saw the Obey T-shirt. And when I went, right. When was the last time someone wore Obey? Yeah, and, and then I, there were so many signals in this one thing. And it's produced by Michelle and fucking oh, Obama. Obama. Here and the I'm producers like, of this film. And, and, and it, what are you so, so many things? Let me give a little... Let me give a little Hang on, this is not the one about the people like Woodstock, is it? No. No. <laughs> no, I'm not... <laughs> Wait, did you, did you see that one about... Uh, about um, about No, about the disabled people who couldn't go to Woodstock. But <laughs> Michelle not. Obama and Barack Obama are executive producers of that. You're fucking weirdos, mate. Listen, man, <laughs> if you're a president of uh, the United States, how, why are you making a film like that? Surely you would make a film inspiring, you know, something positive or something you've done in your life or... You know, this is fucking anti-West, anti-America. And basically, in a nutshell, what it is, America gets attacked by, like, this Yeah, I haven't seen it. I haven't you know, seen it. EMT or Sub EMP? Subliminal advertising, if you ask me. It's predictive programming. Yeah, predictive it's, programming. That's the word. It's predictive yeah. programming. Yeah. Um, it's the same with, uh, you know, with, 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 with um, what's his name? Fucking Gates. You know, when he went on about the event 201, next thing you know, the real thing happens with the pandemic. 
These things has this recently come out. This Mate, one? it's frightening. Yeah, yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. it has because you yeah. need to watch it. But this, this is what I'm going on about. Like you, some people will watch a film, not even think anything about it. Yeah, yeah, go, that's a right, film. Oh god, that's a good film. Imagine that. But then some people watch it and they see the signs. Like you, these days, you that like back in the day, I wouldn't I would have been the same? All right, it's film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I look at it and go, there's more to that than meets the eye. Look. That's what I think. Yeah. Well, is it that full on, is it? Yeah, yes. Yeah, what, well, worth a watch? Yeah, it's worth a watch. It's well, a good, I don't a have to watch it. Ending, I think I've been left out. I think as a film, it's a shocking, <laughs> you know. Just, it's quite scary as well, man, because yeah. I, 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 I think the, it could actually happen. Does it show how mugged off we've been? It's basically, no, it's what's, it's, it's, it's like the end what's going, game, what's, what's going to happen, happen. slowly it's, but you know, surely. Because at the moment, you know, everyone's against us. They're all working together, China, Iran, Russia, all of them. And, these, and, and you've got America, who were just being total ass wipes and just don't give a fuck about their people, and we, Britain, are just following them down that fucking... Oh, well, that's been the case for many years, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. you know, it's basically about the collapse of Well, do you know what? West. Have you seen the price in tomatoes? I almost dropped dead in bloody <laughs> Tesco. A pound for a beefsteak tomato. <laughs> I thought you'd grow your own these days. <laughs> but, I mean, joking aside, I uh, I just went, I, I love my tomatoes, and I do like spending money on them, but I'm not spending a quid on a beefsteak tomato. I'll put it back. So what's a beefsteak tomato? What's, what's it's just a big tomato. Okay. A oh, big, juicy tomato. But it was just, I don't know, I just find this, like they're taking a, taking a mickey. Everything put it put in that pan down. The you go, you go to the shop, I only really bought a few things, and it's like, like what, well, it's 50 quid. I'm like, what? Oh, <laughs> No, really? we're talking about just just not to go back onto it, but yeah, you know, so, talking about that situation there, right? Yeah, about it's falling, you know, falling apart and stuff. You yeah, know, if that happens, we rely on the shop. I, I don't, you know, a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, we lived on land, we had livestock, we had farms. You know, we all. I rely on the Premier every night. I come home from work, I buy my fucking, you know, a, a little munch from the shop, and that's me done. Well, if Premier cabs. Actually, <laughs> yeah, huh? you know, like a Premier shop. Oh, I'll sorry, go buy I thought a milk, bread. A little a munch for the day. I live day to day. Yeah. None of us are stocked up with anything. If this happens, we're all dying straight I know, away. I, 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 honest, I, st I stocked up. I went to Booker's a year ago and I bought Booker's loads of can, can, and I bought loads of dry, and it's all in the house there, ready what for is it? I know you might think well, when it's right. Right. Well, you don't. No, you are. I have well, it with you. Ask Kira. Yeah, but when it happens, I, it's, it's, it's the there. I've got win. it all there and it's ready to go. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going rushing to the supermarket with 20 million people in a queue because I don't need to because it's all there in my thing. So I got stuff to Fucking do. doomsday prepper. Huh? No, but you you want to be careful you don't promote that though as well because people will be coming straight to you like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, of course, say that shop. Yeah. <laughs> Get your pot noodles. Present Get your pot noodles. noodles. 255 for the pound. <laughs> it was made, you know, the film made us look all fucking useless. We are. The guy's like, I got cash. I can't use my Monza or my Apple Pay. Because it's all, we're controlled by fucking... Well, as soon as cash goes, we are absolutely doomed. I know a lot of people we can't see it. Anyway, yeah, anyway it, like, like I said, just, if we, now, now that we can, just have a laugh. Yeah. And, and treat people how you want to be treated. Simple. Yeah. Well, let's talk on a positive side then. How has your, your year been? Uh, I'll go, I'll start with you first, uh, Panch. How's 2023 been? The highlight was probably, you know, coming to the Central Club. <laughs> but behind that... Yeah. Well, well, apart, like apart from meeting you, yeah. What, what was it? Because I'm meeting you the second time. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I don't know. I've had a bit of a mixed bag. It's been up, you know, ups and downs. It's been all cool. Yeah, I met the good girl in August. That was nice. Still with her, yeah. Yeah, still with her. How oh, the fuck? Well, yeah, yeah. But uh, a couple of hurdles, like my brother and the inquest. We we'll speak about that again, maybe. Yeah. But uh, yeah. All in all, it's definitely like things, things are, you know, looking up. It's all good. Yeah, good. You're looking yeah, really well. Things, things, uh, irons in the fire for 24. You what? Irons in the fire for 24. Oh, yeah. Things Sorry. lined up. I think you said eyes are in the fire <laughs> for 24. You're not going to burn your eyes out, dude. Yeah, yeah. I always said Isaiah or something like that. Uh, Isaiah? Know, in the Bible. No. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Pritch? Yeah, pretty good. You've been busy, haven't you? I mean, He's yeah, busy, uh, I'm a... Uh, I enjoy being busy because if I don't, if I'm not busy, I'm, I've got too much time in my head, and that's dangerous. So I just like keeping busy. Shops doing well. Cardiff City Centre, the tattoo and barber shop. Uh, yeah, that's that's doing well. And the new book, new book come out just well last week. Dirty Vegan Three. We got this wow. uh, the 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 Dixon 
Matt Pritchard, that's the right idea. Should it just come out? Nice. So yeah, no, it's been good, yeah. but it's been yeah. At the same time, it's been hasn't always been perfect. But that's just life, isn't it? Yeah, ups and downs, isn't it? You uh, as well. You've got a got, got a beverage out there, haven't you? Yeah, got a sleep in your dead vodka. I, I, actually, this year it was October the sixth last year. I uh, I stopped everything, so I'm just over a year now, yeah. sober and clean. Which that's that was a big one this year because well, because you know yourself. I mean, the first three months was getting off it all and and you know it's changing the habit. Yeah. And then I think it was around about March time I started a thing called the 4am club. So for me, it was a thing, just, just discipline, yeah. discipline and routine. And if I've got my discipline and routine, then uh, it's, all, it's all gravy. Yeah. So I just get up yeah. at four o'clock every morning. And then even though when you don't want to, still do it Monday to, so Monday, off, Monday uh, to Saturday. Are you off four o'clock club now? Yeah. I thought Christmas, so, but Christmas, is, is your body clock still getting you up at four? Yeah, it is, yeah. Christmas is coming, I thought. Last week, I was because my missus is why I wake my missus up at the same time, so that does it. Ed, in I thought Christmas is year, so I knocked it on the head until the new year. But since I've knocked it on the head, it's weird, man. I've, I have felt a bit, You're missing it. yeah. What time missing do you go to bed during the four? I go to bed, everyone always asks this. Nine, I go to bed at nine o'clock and then I wake up at four, go and have a cup of coffee, uh, have some pre workout and stuff because we got I just released the um, sleeping your dead supplement range as well. So I have the pre-workout, which gives me a kick up the ass, go to the gym or run or whatever it may be for about half past four, come back and then go into the, I've got a, a cold tub in the back garden. So I go in there. You for, it from home as well then? We, yeah, so I get all, go to the gym, get hot, sweaty, do all that kind of stuff and then go into the cold tub and then come out, have a shower, have breakfast and go into town then, open up the shop. How important would you say to people the, the, the cold water dipping is for you? No, I, th- I, I just, I know how good it is. I've done it quite a few, few times, but I've always wanted to do it like every single day, just to, to get the maximum benefit out of it. And since I got when I got that cold tub, <clears throat> it does work, man. Like especially, like I, I've noticed in the in the morning, I wake up, go to the gym, like I said, jump at the cold thing, come out, and I go upstairs, and I'm like. I'm like a lunatic. My missus is like, will you shut up? It's almost like I'm ticking, like threats. I'm hey, doing all these noises. I'm just absolutely fine. So do you know like the first time? Beans. The first like, time you do it. But without it, she's like, you haven't been, and you haven't, and you haven't been a thing. I went, no. How do you know that? She went, well, because you, you're Deflated. completely, you're, you're, no, I'm not completely not deflated. deflated. You're yeah. just calm. Yeah. But I'm in there, I'm like, wow. Ooh. So it is good. So it works, doesn't it? It yeah. does. I mean, I've done it with Pancho quite a few yeah, times. You know, like first, you know like the first time you ever done it in Sweden? I was <clears> a sauna into that. That's it, yeah. The water jungle lake. Yeah, or whatever <laughs> it was. The water jungle that was lake. Sauna, it was it? in Sweden, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in Sweden. On the European tour. There was tour. an ice lake and we were like, we had a pull-up sauna thing. And it was straight out the sauna into the ice lake. You came out there, you felt revitalised. Mm. You know, you buzz in like literally like, like a high. Is that what it's like when you do it day after day, or do you like? Yeah, or does it level out? No, I don't think. It, no, it doesn't level out. No, no, it just gets. I like, gotta does. be honest. I, I mean, what I would like to have, I'd like to have a sauna. Yeah, yeah. And, be, so I go hot, cold, cold hot, cold, hot, cold, yeah. hot, cold, and then because I find doing the hot and the cold together works even better. Yeah, and you, you, well, it's they, just they, one they, extreme to the other. Yeah. End, they it? say one one line of uh, cocaine like lasts lasts <laughs> like it lasts half hour, and. An ice bath lasts about four or five hours. So yeah, I, I've seen something like that. The, 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 the peaks and troughs and sometimes, what, like sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you do it what, twice a day. It? Yeah, it? Perhaps you don't shit coke. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we're gonna have to do that as well. We're gonna have to film it one day. We'll go and do a four a.m. thing. We, mm. I think that'd be. I've always wanted to do it, um, but. Like obviously we we interviewed you like well, it's probably like nearly two years ago now, which is fucking crazy. Was yeah, no, that's not so quick. But like you know, you done you you've been doing really well <laughs> over the last however long since Dirty Sanchez anyway, yeah. And then you just said that you know you had a little blip or whatever. Maybe for the people as well, like like it's important to know that like you know you can fuck up and and, and start again. It's not like some people beat themselves up massively from that, don't they? Mm. But look where you are now as well. It's like you haven't. It's, it's like you never left. <clears throat> well, I did. It, it was about 2018, 2019. I saw. I was kidding myself. I was like, oh, yeah, I, I I did calm down 
quite a lot compared to what I used to do. Mm. And it was, and I, I was literally just kidding myself. You know the score, you've mm. probably done it in punch as well. I'm, you know, 2000, 2000, <laughs> 2020 came and oh, man, you just, I don't, you don't realize until you look back how much that screwed a lot of people up, screwed me up and just, and then when I went on the, I did the, I did the row then, and quite literally used that row across the Atlantic. Across the Atlantic, yeah. Going from Lanzarote to um, to Antigua. I thought I'll use that as a, as a, as my re- rehab really because I know, and that's what I pretty much did. And then I came back, uh, and then uh, slowly but surely I got flat flat out back on it again. And I was still, <clears throat> it was pissing the bed, and it was loads, it was loads of stuff, and I proper. I was in a, I was in the right mess. Were you on the top and I almost, lot? I almost lost my misses. I almost lost, a, <clears throat> lost a lot of stuff. And I just it's got the point. And I just pretty much had a breakdown. I, just, I couldn't stop crying. I was going to London on the train. I was crying my eyes out on the train going to London. Look, I just so you were still working amongst. I was still bits. working, and I was just completely and utterly drained. Yeah. I just, oh, and I just went right. Fuck! Now I got, I got to do something. If, if I don't do something, I'm just literally going to go. I'm just going to lose everything. So I just went, right, October the 6th. <clears throat> I actually went to, um, I lost all my confidence. I lost my self, self, self everything, self-esteem. self-esteem. self-esteem yeah. and, yeah, and I went to Octopus Publishing, uh, the people who do my the, the book. And I just, I mean, my major was with me. My, my anxiety was so bad, I couldn't, I couldn't even hold the, like, the meeting. I couldn't wait to get out of there. Yeah. I was just so nervous. I just just lost it. Do you get uh, anxiety much now? Ed? Compared to, compared to this time last year, it's massively better. Like I couldn't because I couldn't leave in the house was just mm. uh, and I think that's why the drink and everything else came in as well because it, yeah. it would take rid it, it would yeah, get rid of that anxiety. anxiety. Is, so yeah, I mean, I just said uh, October the sixth. That was it, and I packed it in, and, and ever since it's been there. Uh, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Huh? That works for you. That's great. Yeah, it works for me. Yeah. So, when you done the uh, row around the Atlantic, did you uh, look at that thinking, I could do that? (laughs) No. No. The thing is, with Pritch, he's got like this, um, this OCD. You know, he's just obsessed. He just becomes obsessed with stuff, like skateboarding back in the day. Like he would not stop, whether it be like jumping downstairs or something being technical and take hours and hours. Yeah. Persistence. That's what we call him Forrest Gump. <laughs> because yeah. yeah, he just keep on going and going. I kept running. Yeah. He's got like a fucking do himself back to your fucking house or something. Thanks. But, um, I think I'm on the spectrum. Was he good at skateboarding? Not bad. Was he the best out of all of you? Yeah. Prick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, far, by far, yeah. Any funny stories of them skateboarding days? Um, <laughs> tell them about you. Yeah, when he, yeah, I, I, I was thinking about that on the, way, on the way up in the car. And I was thinking about stories about me and you, and I saw I thought I was a perfect one. Like back back in the day, I, you know, I was I was sponsored and stuff by companies and everything. And, and the World Championships were held in Munster in Germany, mm-hmm. like massive, huge competition, big arena. Munster's in Ireland. And, no, no, no. Munster in Germany. Oh, sorry, sorry. There's two Munsters. <laughs> yeah, you're right, sorry. Uh, and, and they were like, oh, they, my sponsor said, we need you to go there to go and enter the competition. So I was like, yep, yeah, cool, no worries. And Pants is like, oh, can I come? I was like, oh, yeah, come along. I, I, am, going, sorry, I, am, I, going, I am going new tickets to get you into um, into the, the, the yeah, thing. So I thought, I know what we'll do. We'll, we'll just tell them that you're my son. No, I don't, Pants. <laughs> Since you were for like 50, 14, 14. 15, 14. Yeah. And he was even smaller then. So we got the door and, it was, and they were like, all right, I, yeah, he's my son. All right, okay, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and then he came. And for all weekend, and he was just, he was my son for the yeah. weekend. <laughs> and you're going to kick down the nightclubs, scummy dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite a few things went on that weekend. Oh, fucking hell, yeah, yeah. We can't even speak about that one. Get kicked right off. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of things you've done that are unspeakable, you'd say. Then I'm assuming you've got a lot of dark secrets yeah. you that you <clears> take <throat> to the grave. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Do you have any uh, any like good stories of, of you know the skateboarding days prior to doing Sanchez? Oh man, where do we begin? 
Yeah, fires in Northampton and stuff, skating through the fire and that pissed out of our heads. Remember that? Yeah, that was, that, that that was, was just good. down the road, wasn't it? it was like so 41 good. people in the travel lodge room, fucking bongs going off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fucking police hit us literally. I think it was 38 of us. <laughs> yeah. We used to get those, we used to get those travel because we didn't have any money back then. I mean, you used to go to the skate comps, yeah. we used to get a travel lodge and just sneak as many as we could into, into the room. That's, Good, good times, good times, man. I'm talking to like stunts and sh- uh, like stunts, pranks, whatever. It, you know, it's not, it's different now, isn't it? Everything evolves in, 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 you know, like I think I've had this conversation with both of you, I think, of like when I thought like you had jackass and then you guys came along and you like took it a bit more to the extreme. I think it was a bit more raw up. And I think in life, everything evolves anyway. It's always pushing it to that limit, isn't it? So we interviewed uh, someone who's been in the media uh, quite a lot. We did him this year. He's actually in prison now for some of the, the, the pranks and whatever he's done. Uh, his name's Mizzy, the TikToker. Have you ever seen this guy? No. Uh, he's from London. Um, young kid. Um, and basically... He oh, was I doing... think I've seen this on the news. Yeah. He yeah, was yeah, doing, yeah, 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 yeah. He was doing Morgan and stuff. He right. was doing stuff like... Walking in people's fucking houses and stuff and, like, just sitting in their house. And j- j- just wild, wild stuff. Um, do you think that's just taking the piss? That's not even, like, a, a stunt or a prank, would you say? Do you think that's crossing the line? Or? Well, I don't know if you're sitting in somebody's house, I think that's a bit crossing the line, yeah. I mean, what if I was an older person and you walked in and... Yeah, but that's do you, not, do that's you think not. you're... Do you think your 28 year old self would have thought that? That's right, yeah, that's a good question. Now that's you're good, an old that's cunt. A good, that's a good point. Now you're an old person. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Thinking, you're, all you're well, thinking about is that disabled rabbit. Really. The guy's 18, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he's, oh, he's young. Oh, right, oh, yeah, right. you don't know any different. I mean, no, exactly. yeah, I mean he's just having you've a good think, I, think I, I, I think you've got to take that into account. You know, like, don't get me wrong. If someone's in my front room, I'm going to fucking, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be pissed off and go after them. <laughs> And yeah, I wouldn't really condone it. But oh, fucking hell, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess if yeah. he's yeah, if he's eighteen, Jesus Christ, he doesn't know right from wrong yet, does he? Yeah, so. yeah. Fair enough. I just wanted to ask you that because when we actually done the interview, we kind of have had that conversation. Um, one thing I, I, I want to talk about as well, obviously, is Christmas uh, around that uh, time, and um, Shane McGowan's passed away. Obviously, hmm. um, you guys met him, didn't you? I, I, met, met him, I, met, I met him in uh, Zulu Tattoo in Dublin. Both, well, Sean, who owns Zulu, is a friend of both of ours, isn't he? Uh, you know, uh, any good memories of him? Like anything you can uh, share? Well, well, um, Panch actually drunk him under the table. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be a claim uh, to fame, wouldn't it? Yeah, just a but, bit. But um, I, I only met him, like, once. I knew his... His manager had been into the shop a few times, and he was a wild dead. But she would go, and he just had these fake teeth put in. And he was struggling to speak, and like the Irish <laughs> accent, my pisslexia. Pisslexia. Yeah, and it was just going off, man. It was, and then he starts trying to sing, I'm a little teapot to all now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he literally just had those gnashes put in. Yeah, those teeth, uh, those teeth of his were wild. Were I, reckon, I reckon that's going to be number one now. And what was it number one? Yeah, I. No, it will be number yeah, one. Yeah, I said that when, when he died. It's of fin- fingers crossed. Uh, the fairy tale of New York will be number one because I, of I, really, I think because it will be. Yeah, yeah. Do you but, see the send off he had? Yeah, it's amazing. The guy who was president was kicking off of him, wasn't he? Was he? Was he? Yeah, how the fuck? Well, really? What? Because people are having a watch, people I've got to the point. I don't watch the news now. Yeah, yeah. I don't watch mainstream, but something popped up on my phone. But I, yeah. <laughs> That's a bit. They look like they look like they were having it's a like Johnny laugh. Depp and that there, didn't they? Yeah. yeah, they were all dancing Three, and everything in the church. Eulogy or whatever. Imagine mm. that. Yeah. But, yeah, would you think Dirty Sanchez would survive in this climate? Oh, hundred <laughs> no, percent no, not. No, there's no way in this fucking corrupt PC <laughs> cocksucking world that they, they'd allow something <sighs> like fucking Sanchez to ever happen. You, what would you have to do? Would you Americanize? Like would you have to do like it on like YouTube or Netflix or something like that? Or Wait, well, even Netflix put, too put, put it this way, right? I, I, when I started my TikTok, I was putting loads of uh, Sanchez clips on there. And, you know, people, were, pe- you, pe- people were loving them. And then, uh, next police. thing, the community guy, the community guy, community guy, just, uh, in the end, I went, time to change, just forget about it. <laughs> yeah. I, like, honestly, 
Adapt, I just thought adapt, if people, man. people really wanted to see this stuff, and I'm like, you know, and for me, looking through it, you know, it was bringing back some people? good memories. So I went, yeah. this is, I, I have to stop because they'll just delete my account. And, you know, I got quite a few followers on there and stuff, and I just, I, I, I just, I, I just gave up and I just did my, no, I just put my normal content on. What a massive on. fucking shame. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? But that's just isn't how it, it is now. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's strange how, like, you know, you just can't get away with jack shit now when yeah. we're getting fucking gazumped on by every fucking else and they're <laughs> complaining about that. Uh, what was the worst, um, what's the, probably the most unforgivable thing, uh, Pritchard, done to you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Christ like, almighty. Come on, it's got to be when you think, you know what, yeah. I'm never going to fucking forgive you for that. <laughs> oh, you've done, done, done some stuff to you. Oh, well, like, you, know, the, you know the Incredible the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk? That was my yeah. idea. And I was like, right, I tell you what, let's paint him green and, <laughs> and, and cut, cut his jeans yeah, off that, so he that, looks that, like the Incredible Hulk. Because I knew that as soon as you wake up, you'll go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, and he did. And it was just yeah, like the, the D-lock around the neck for the second oh, time. That was fucking, that was that good. Was that had to come off. You sounded like a one-man band. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you had yeah, soft lids time. on it as well. Yeah. Mate, like, I used to put myself in that fucking... Uh, do you know what? Never again will I go on a fucking tour bus with you. Ever. <sighs> Never again will I go on a tour bus with you. Christ almighty. Mate. I mean, don't get me. It was a laugh, wasn't it? Yeah, at the time, yeah. Mate, listen, right? If you're taking dog Valiums all the time, you're always going to go asleep. I don't take them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Going back like two decades. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely wouldn't get away with it now. <laughs> Here's a tip. If you're on a tour bus with Panch, don't sleep on the bunk bed underneath him. Because <laughs> it'll just feel like it's raining all the time. <laughs> Because <laughs> he, he, he pissed, pissed the bed. He's like, no, it wasn't me. It was like, well, it's your bed. And then we had, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Uh, good times, man. You, when, when we Joyce, had... Joyce, he was, cr Joyce used to crack one off. <laughs> in the second bed, you could hear him going, because <laughs> 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 like, he didn't give a shit. He went, <laughs> and he'd open up the curtain and go, Sp Superman. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> Joycey, man. Like, oh, just man. spinging everywhere. Anyway. Nah, it's no, nothing worse, mate. I, like, <coughs> I suppose when you're on a tour bus with the lads, it's a bit different. But you know when you're in a jail cell with someone <laughs> and you're on the boat and you're getting it, and you're like, he's having a wank. <laughs> no. like, when, when I have a pad, mate, I say, listen, there's no shitting when we're in the cell. And there's no wanking either. Because it's, it's just fucking weird, isn't it? Oh, well, you've got to have a shit in the, in the cell, haven't you? Yeah, no, no. What I'm saying is, like... You can't help it. If you yeah. need a shit really, really bad, like, you're going to shit your pants. Yeah. Maybe. But, like, you know, uh, say, like, um, you know, we're, we're being open for food at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock, whatever, and it's, like, half full, and he's like, I need a shit. No, you can wait till we open up and you can go down the landing to go to the toilet. You're not having a well, shit. So the hour when you eat food, yeah, the hour you, you have eat off. shit in the same place, isn't it? The hour you have off. Keep it for that. Keep hour. it for there. Keep it for the morning. Keep it for dinner or keep it for the evening. You know, you ain't having a shit in the night, like, you know. But a wank's all right. No, a wank ain't all right. <laughs> I'll tell you a mad story, though. Like, I thought this one guy was in with Nathan, his name was. He was from Bali. He's from Roos. He was a really posh boy, but he, he got on the heroin and all that. And um, I said to him, like, he was, on, he was on the spice. And I said, listen, you ain't smoking any of this shit in myself. You're just not. Spice. And, yeah. Yeah, he was fucked on it because there was nothing else in there. I'm not like that. See, I, it was heroin, crack. You know, some people, they just, like you, you just have whatever. <laughs> I don't do heroin. <laughs> I don't do crack. You know those ones that just, just take anything? You know those ones that just take anything? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't know, yeah. But a lot of people are, and he was one of them. So it was only spice on the wing. So we were in the, we were in the cell, and uh, I'm sleeping. Oh, it's the association, but it's the other half association. And we're in the sand, we're sleeping like that. Like in here, the, the creek, and he's up on top bunk. And I can hear the creek. I'm like, is he having what a cracking one off on spice? I thought, he's having what? He's having a wank, isn't he? So I've got to, like, to fucking bang him. He's fucking, he's, he's choking on his tongue. He's fucking having a fit. He's having a seizure. He's having a fucking fit. I have, oh, to get off, I have to get off the bed, ring the bell. Crack him off, put him in a recovery position. All blood was spitting out of him when he was chewing on his tongue. Whoa. Uh, he had a spice attack. And I was, I was going to punch him, so he was having a wank. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking wild, that spice, mate, honestly. Everybody have a good I, spice up your life. Yeah, oh, take yeah take but did you guys ever take salvia? You must have done something yeah, on the Yeah, smoke salvia, yeah. Because well, it's, yeah. it's to be like that, isn't it? Go on. No, I've, uh, I, when I was 
No, I, when you're the last um, the Sanchez get high, yeah, high. Was, yeah. But it didn't really work, so I, I just <laughs> pretended to walk out the place like, like oh, I had. Done. It didn't really work. I, I, I didn't really like that fucking show, to tell you the truth. Why? Because you weren't on it. No, nothing to do with that. <laughs> like, no, 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 no yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, you were one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate. I, 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 yeah, I would have, uh, I would have gone on there, mate. Fucking got high. No, I'm, I'm not like that. Actually, I'm scared of like, you know, like uh, hallucinogenics. Uh, yeah. I'm scared. I'm oh, do you know down. what I did? Um, it's like I, I completely believe in plant. Uh, Where? Oh, I, I completely believe in plant medicines to try and sort out, um, you know, your, your head and stuff when it, as far as anxiety comes, depression, and all that kind of stuff. And I, there's one thing that I <clears throat> that I hadn't done, and it was D, that was DMT. So t- was it two two weekends ago, three weekends ago? I went and did a ceremony, a DM, DMT ceremony, and it, I'm not joking, right? It was. Absolutely amazing. Oh, you've done it? Yeah. yeah I, 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 and, amazing. and do you know what? I, like, like, I was told to you about this probably. You told me. Was yeah, good. I came out of it. And still to this day, I just, I came out of it, felt so light. And my anxiety and everything, it hasn't completely gone. But it, I used to wake up in the morning and have really bad angst, feelings in my stomach, anxiety and something. That all went. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to go back and do, do it again. And hopefully, bad, mm. uh, honestly, it, I, now, you I said to my missus, my missus was, was done. done. Huh? You told me that it was beneficial that you hyped on it. Oh, it was, honestly, it was... But you didn't was, say that it, like, eliminated, like, got rid of anxiety. And, oh, yeah. That, and I'm definitely going to go back. And uh, well, so how I, many times did you go I said, to I said to the... <laughs> Initiation. I said, I said to the guys, so, look, I want to... I wanna, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it properly because I don't want to do it half-hearted and then come back, have to come back and do it again. So he said, oh, you want to... Well, I say you want to... You want to break through? And I was like, oh. I said, yes, please. Really? So I sat there and I s- sucked on the thing. And I'm looking, like looking, pipe, it? yeah, it's like a, a vape kind of thing. And I'm looking at my sh- feet because I'm all sat up and there's a bed behind me. I sucked in once, twice, and I see my feet going. I went, oh, God, here we go. And then third time, I don't know where I went. And apparently, four, I sucked it a fourth time, dribbled. And then, uh, I don't know where I went. I just completely left the left planet left the Earth. Left planet Earth. Left my body. What did you see? I start. I could feel myself coming back into my body, and I didn't want to come back. I just wanted because I got really, I got really emotional as well when I did it, and it was just and the shapes and everything. They say just, a lot of people. It was insane. They say a lot of people mm, with drug problems. Mm-hmm. They it's like they they just never go back. Because they look at life in another perspective of like, what are you? What are we doing? I've seen such a beautiful thing, and what are we doing with ourselves here? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm never going back to that sort of thing. Like a different outlook on life. Yeah. Would yeah you I, 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 it was meant to be really deep. That's the thing. You look deep. at life and you reflect on life and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So I, quite, well, is, it, is that, I, I, it's part of the ayahuasca. It's, it's the same thing as ayahuasca. See, it's part of the ayahuasca. But I knew that ayahuasca yeah. was fucking gnarly. It'll take you through a, an emotional roller coaster. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, do you know that Bruce Parry? I think that's what I was on about from, ayahuasca, actually. Yeah, ayahuasca is. Well, I did, well, I did ayahuasca. <clears throat> that's how she's got high thing, but. Yeah. I mean, the experience was not how it should have been because as soon as MTV got their footage, they were like, all right, cool, we're going back to Rio, which was a five-hour drive away. So I, yeah, I, was, you know, I, was, sat, I was sat on a minibus and I, you know, the whole experience be, yeah, was like... Yeah, yeah, but I definitely right. want to do that again and just um, do it properly this time. Maybe you should put a claim in. Uh, you know, like, uh, you know, I, you know, I've never come down off the buzz because you ruined my buzz. I was in the favelas. Hey, like, you yeah. fucking owe me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Motherfucker. Actually, me and Pants, we could actually put MTV through. You know, we could sue them, I reckon. Well, before we go on to the oh. suing thing about the conversation I want to talk about, maybe, uh, yeah, for Pancho, you know, now you've done that DMT and knowing what Pancho's been through in his life and stuff, do you think it would be beneficial for him? Uh, yes. Hundred percent, and I'll, I'll I'll take you there. I'll do it with you. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll take you to the people. 
Honestly, you, I, I, you, I'll, I'll have to do a bit more research. But just like Carl was saying, I'm, I'm a little bit dubious about like these, my, you know, like you, you, hear, you hear the stories, don't you? Yeah, yeah. he never came, he never came back. No, no. <laughs> there weren't there were enough vitamin C in the world to bring the guy back. <laughs> 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 I'm spice, right? Geeking out and all that, and you're grabbing them in the south on the screen, you don't see. <laughs> Get me an orange! <laughs> <laughs> Get me out! Like a cam shield in his mouth, like that. Oh, you know what? Does oranges work? Oh, oh shut up, man! <laughs> oh, but you know what that happens in your fucking teens? <laughs> That's what they say, mate, didn't it? Vitamin C, like, it, you know, it brings you back with the sugar. And, yeah, 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 yeah. But, like... Yeah. No, you're right. You, yeah, you need a you proper know, fucking it. A little sharp, citrus yeah. fucking take. Right, I get it. Ooh. But um, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> Kefton, right? Yeah, listen to this, right? Yeah, the guy he's from the valleys, Kefton, his name was fucking mad old taffy. He was the hooch man in jail and he would make the hooch. They actually banned him from having oranges because he, they banned, so they, 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 he weren't allowed to buy orange juice on his canteen. And the oranges, which were, uh, you know, everyone was allowed an orange, they come in your little tea pack. He was not allowed oranges because, like, they knew he would make brew. He always had a brew on. Like, What's you know that what hedge stuff like in prison? I'd love oh, to try it. Oh, mate, honest to God, right? I've had half of that, right? I'm like, feeling many. And I, it would be the same with the hooch. It's fucking strong, mate. I remember in Stokey, if I was in my own they cell. make you blind? No. You could black out. I thought, like, um... Pachin, that is. Oh, is it? All right. Potato, potato. Moon, moon, moonshine. Is that moonshine, moonshine, moonshine isn't it? Yeah, moonshine, moonshine makes you go blind, doesn't it? Well, it could, but yeah. I can't see anything like that. Yeah, the, the one guy was making cider in there as well. He had apples and, that, and was just leaving them ferment in his bowl, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I just copied him and done it. I don't know what I was doing. I just got a couple of apples, smashed them, put them in a bowl, right? I'd say a month later, fucking hell. It was like fucking pure alcohol, potent. And then what you do is you was adding, adding the juice you want with it. We had yeah, like tropical juice hooch and that. Oh, mate, fucking, mate. You got your piss. I had some heavy hooch in here, mate, right? <laughs> <laughs> two cups, two cups of the blue beaker. You're fucking partying, mate, like, just hugging each other and all that. And jail's fucking crazy, mate. Two cups of cur. Two cups of cur, mate, yeah. Two cups of cur. <laughs> well, so, um, yeah, talking about suing. So, just for the people who, who, who don't know, we're in Port Harbour and, and, and Richie Abad, the, the, the Welsh... Uh, is he a prop? No, he's okay, he? He's okay, yeah. He just came in and we, uh, just, like, we just got into a conversation, which is something we've recently done, which was um, about the rugby concussion. So obviously we interviewed Alex Popham and Lenny Woodard, not Lemmy, Lenny. Um, and uh, yeah, we were just speaking about the topic. And, and I want to hear your guys' uh, take on it, basically, because this is something that I'm split with as well. Um, what do you think of the the situation with these rugby players putting in a claim against the WRU and, and, and other bodies? Well, I, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I know what's, I know what's going on, but I don't know. I, I'm not experienced enough to know for me to have a, a say in it. But if they're actually going through all that kind of stuff, then some of the bloody abuse me punched and, well, uh, no and, and the boys have gone through on, on, on MTV, uh, you know, it's, I mean, we're mentally scared. <laughs> PTSD? <laughs> well, he's definitely food. mentally scared, the stuff we put through over the years. But no, on a, in a serious note, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't, I don't, I don't know enough about it to be able to say anything, but... um. So, but, but what I'm gathering from what you're saying there is, well, if, if that's that, then we're... So what you're saying is maybe 
you know, you know what you signed up for, <laughs> in other words? Well, you, I mean, I signed up to skateboarding many years ago and I've been in lost floors, left, right and centre and, you know, that's part of, would you part put a claim, parcel would of you it, put isn't a claim it? claim against that knees for that? <laughs> no. No. No, I wouldn't know. Yeah. But that's, <clears throat> but that's just, you know, that's just but me. You, I mean, I mean, again, everything I've done in my life has, has, <laughs> has hurt me in some form. With the skateboarding or the, with the, the Sanchez yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. but I knew what I was signing up for. So you know, it's just, I guess it's part of your job, isn't it? Okay, punch. Yeah, and like you know, I'm no, I'm not medically trained and stuff, but <laughs> obviously, <laughs> <laughs> no shit. yeah. But um, I um, I think those guys knew what they were getting into, you know. With you know, and like you roll the dice, you pay the fucking price. Mm. You know, it'd be a shame if they were to be, I'm not saying they are, you know, um, making stuff up for their own game. Because that will put the game into total disrespect. You know, and <coughs> this as well, because if they... He's gonna, you know, he's going to lose, you know, well, like, he just loses the whole essence, you know. It's done, you know, where's your fucking love for the sport? Like a I'm sure, I'm sure... They owe rugby more than what rugby owes them. Yeah. yeah. I think, um, well, they could, uh, they could bank- Just like I do with skateboard. They right? could bankrupt the yeah. sport, can they, I guess? If, they, well, if I enough think, people come forward. Well, well I think WIU sport. isn't the richest uh, organization anyway, are they? Well, when, no, I, when I, I went into a box, I had a posh bottle of champagne, so they must be doing it, right? <laughs> oh, well, no, 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 that's no, part of the reason no, why they are. No, but it's, yeah, yeah, like, don't, I think when I went into the interview and done it, I think, you know, I felt a bit like uh, mine might have changed a little bit, but I definitely think, you know, you, you know, you, this is a sport you love. You knew what it was all about. And when they grew up, it was even more brutal. So they knew what they were fucking getting yeah. themselves into. Um, but yeah, it, you know, I haven't got that diagnosis. I, I, used, to, I, I used to play rugby back in the day as well. But I, I did. I stopped because I was more interested in diving in the mud than actually playing the game. But my, my, da, my, da, my dad was. My dad has been in rugby all his life, and he, you know, and he always says that back in the day, rugby then was completely different. It was pretty much thuggery, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you're in the scrum, out, and they were, they were, they were, they were fucking, yeah. you know, uppercuts and everything in the scrum, and you just got away with it. That's yeah. just how it was. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I want to talk about uh, the 20 mile per hour uh, situation. Oh. What do you guys think? <laughs> well, it's like going down Margaret Road, like that, <laughs> overnight, there seemed to be <laughs> <laughs> like about a thousand signposts, some in streets, probably only from here to that fringe. 20, 20, 20. You couldn't even get up to fucking 20 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't need to say anything. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, there's a, there's those people that when it's a 70, 70 mile an hour, there's those, but it's a bunch of people that'll do 60. 50 mile an hour, a bunch of people do 40. 30 mile an hour, people do 20. Now it's got 20 mile an hour. There's people that do 10 miles an hour. And I've been behind them loads of times. And I'm like, ah, the thing is, we're going backwards. Because the cars are built now to go so fast and they can stop within... Uh, everything we're all just we're just getting dragged do you think this is we're part getting of dragged down, we're getting dragged down we're, we're breaking the, they're slowly but surely breaking the human spirit and we've got to be strong enough to go no you're not because you ain't gonna break me you almost did but I know you're not yeah, breaking yeah. me you've just got to it's it's well it come on they think the 15 it's, minute it's cities out, have to out, do with it don't they outside at school or anywhere like that brilliant 20 miles even 10 do you know what I mean? There's, you know, kids coming out of school, that kind of stuff. Yeah, but that. just on the road, come on now. Because it's, yeah, I mean, we're, we're being, mo we're being molly coddled too much. And I guess, they, I, I guess I can see the point where, you know, people are suing people left, right and centre these days. You know, so people have to yeah. be careful. I don't know. I, I just think tw that 20 mile an hour thing is, is barmy. And how much did it cost, uh, cost us? <laughs> 30 million quid or something? That's a lot of money, man. That's, a, that's, that's 30 million quid they could have put into the NHS. Yeah, yeah, you're right, mate. You're right. It's, it is absolutely disgusting. And I think, um, I don't know the uh, reasons behind it, but maybe it had a part to play. I don't know. But uh, Drakeford's gone, haven't he? Yeah, I was just going to say that. You interviewed him on you. I've interviewed him twice. I've interviewed him twice. I interviewed him Why during did... lockdown. He came on his own, no mask, shaking hands. Nice. 
Mate, he ain't got no nice suits. Have you seen him at the fucking, uh, was it the King's coronation? He looked like a scruffy bastard. Yeah. Why Why did he resign? I don't know. Oh, is it? Mm. But, you know. I've seen, the, 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 like, the articles. Welsh poli- political titan. Welsh titan of, of politics. Titan. Lloyd what? George was a fucking titan. Not fucking Mark Rayford. Do you know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck? He's like, a fucking yes man to the fucking... Of course he has. You know, but he came, but fair play to him, right? As a, as a person, fair play to him. He came during lockdown and then he came. Ukraine got invaded by Russia. All right? Yeah, yeah. Then all the world leaders went to Belgium for the summit. The next day, he comes straight to us. We had the inside scoop on everything he... It was obviously a lie. It was obviously a diversionary script. But, he, you know, the questions he answered... Um, who, 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 who do you think? Who is the one man who can make Wales great? Pancho. Would you have Pancho in the in, in the in the seat? Yeah. Yeah, love him. He can take over Matt Drake's job. I'd say that too. Would you? What's the first three things you would change in our country? What the first uh, first three, top three things you would change in this country? Pants, <laughs> pants twenty four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Stronger beer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tax on the possession. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd um, basically, I'd uh, get, get to like do away with a fucking all this extortion of tax we were paying. Yeah, and make sure it was channeled into this country. I wouldn't be dishing it out to Westminster for them to fucking spend it, you know, to their pleasure. That would be one fucking first thing. Yeah. So we could, you know. I just look after our own. Keep it in Wales. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, come Keep, yes, keep, keep cash alive. That's what I'm saying. The day we lose cash, we are fucked. Well, do you know what's worrying, and, right? I'm 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 pro cash, but I drew money out the other day because I lost my car. I bet you used to be pro cash back in the day, wouldn't you? Yeah. Hey. No, I, I but recently that's all I've had is my card. That's all I've had is my card lately. You know, so it's, well, put, it's, it's go, go, go to the hole in the wall, put cash out, and pay for every pay for things with cash. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the yeah, more definitely. people that do, I mean, like, I go if I go to business and I don't accept cash, I never go back again. No, no, no. Same here. It's just you know, come on. on the beach, it's, sorry, guys, it's, it, it's legal. It's legal tender, yes. and they have legally have to take it. And that's that's what would happen then. See, now you went there, ordered your meal. You walk, and walk out the bill. Keep keep the money and thing. Walk out and yeah. they can't they can't do anything. They can't do anything. I've had it with Starbucks, mate. I've had it with Starbucks. Starbucks that's it, I've it? had murder with them. The one in uh, you know by Burger King on St. Mary's, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. safe as fuck. They do cash. But I've had other ones. I no, I go No, in they do now. do cash in there. Yeah, 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 I go yeah, yeah. in there now and he makes me a coffee and like I call the drive yeah. through and just, yeah, and the other ones, right? Yeah, cash get cared on me. I just go, okay. Yeah, 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 no worries. And, you know, they're trying to, you know, like in Subway, like I used to do this in Subway, yeah, like yeah, I used to go into the Subway, order my sandwich, I'd order like five sandwiches. So, you know, they're making the sandwiches. So by the time they've done, you know, one of them's already, re- so I'd order my one first. So I'll have a spicy Italian foot long, thank you. Then I'll have a tuna milk, I'll have this, I'll have this, I'll have that, yeah. So they've made the spicy Italian, it's there on the till. And then they're making all the others, yeah, right? I got a many. I got I go, oh, what does she want? Oh, two sets, I'll be back now. Take that one and go. And it's the fucking box sandwiches. I know they're going to pay me I know they're like 10 sandwiches. I go, oh, two sets, I'll be back now. I, find out, I don't know what she wants on that one. And I walk out like, you know. But that's that's what I do with the Starbucks now. Like, I'll just short talk and just keep talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Latte. Yeah, last thing, yeah. Oh, can I have that? How was your day? Yeah, and they're like trying to, like, they've got the card machine here. They're trying to wait with the card machine. And then it gives them, I give the cash. Because oh, what, what can he do? Yeah. They can't do anything. Oh, fuck them anyway. I like that. Fucking cunt. Yeah, man. big massive corporates. Like, fuck them. Andrew Tate. Because of all this shit that's going on in the world, you know, because you said plug out of the Matrix, I have to mention him. What do you think of him? I know, no comment. No comment? No. I do I, I do have a comment, but I'm not. Yeah. I just, I, uh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Fucking, uh, it's not, not my bag. Yeah? Uh, okay. What do you say? <laughs> oh, I don't like your mate, to be honest. No, you know, right. I think there's little bits in there I could think, yeah, I agree with that, but as a whole, like, he's, he's not, he's not, he's not my greatest fan, like, do you know what I mean? He's a bit of a dick, yeah, to be I mean, honest. I mean, 
All right, we'll, we'll leave that one here then. So, what's um, what, what, what's your plans for the new year then? Well, my plans for the new year are to get really drunk. <laughs> no. No, my plans for the new year to keep growing San Matablo. Like, the, the brand's going really well. Is it going really it's well? It's going yeah. from strength to strength, yeah. Um, just to reinforce that. Um, yeah, um, me and... That's not really professional. You've asked him a question. You've got to... No, 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 this is why I say oh, look, I it's all about Matthew. If it's a tablet, hey. people won't say fuck off. But it's a phone. You think you're on your phone, but you're not. Go on, I'm listening. No, I'm, not. <laughs> I'm listening. No, I don't mind. That is right. Sam Tablo's growing. Yeah. No, I'm, you, I'm, I was sticking a few. He was fucking asking you a question, and he's, no, right. he's not listening Sam to you. Sam Tablo's doing really well. No, no, I'm just uh, keep growing Sam Tablo. Do you think this chick you with now is the real deal? Or no, well, I just, that's my private. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, right, I right. just said it, dude. Uh, you know, all right, mate. That's why I'm looking a bit fresh, maybe. Uh, 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 well, that's my private life. In uh, the, the aim, well, we have got a plan for for Jan yeah, January January 2024. You know, I've launched I've launched this brand, uh, the Sleep Near Dead supplement. It's got pre workout, uh, vegan protein, all that kind of stuff. Uh, gym gym brand, uh, not just gym. Mountain climbing, what, everything, though. everything, fitness, all that kind of stuff. And we've come up with a wicked plan. Uh, Prancho is going to move in with me for the on, on 2nd of January for the whole month. And we're going to start this thing, get Pan, get Pancho fit. And we're going to, and everything, he's going to, so he's going to live in my house. We're going to do 4 a.m. club. Going to take him to the gym. Chris Ware from Warehouse is going to train us for the first yeah, week. Yeah. And then we're going to find a film it. and I'm going to vlog it every single day. I'm going to well. vlog it every single day. And then um, and we, we'll be cooking in my house as well because Pancho's a good cook. So we'll be doing cooking, yeah, waking I'm, up at I'm 4 o'clock, fitness. In no. No. <laughs> no. No. And just doing mountains no, I'm and stuff and man, cold chat. water dipping and all that. So that, yeah. uh, it would a whole month, the two of us spending time with each other and getting Pancho fit. It's basically like, like, a, like a Z-list celebrity kid fat club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a fat kid in school. Like I, I'm walking down the street. I haven't been offered so many free meals. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> like we went to Mama's Cook the other day and uh, we give them props in the, uh, in the um, maths uh, edit and then they popped up the shop then saying Pancho's going to have his first 20 meals for free all under 500 calories <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then there's Doris in the big in uh, Barista Cup she uh, she came up to me and she said do you reckon you could do one of those videos <laughs> <laughs> that you can have a free meal we'll, oh, take, we'll take a photo of uh, January the 2nd and then see what you, you, see, yeah, you see what you look like. I'm going to do a reel for every single day. I'll do it. With, I, with, I, with, I will both and then he's he's going to do one how he's feeling and blah yeah. blah blah. You, you know, should keep you it should real. be more present on social media. I think. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just, uh, it's just not a habit I've really got into, but I yeah. It needs, needs to happen, definitely. Yeah, de well, I, I think af I think after the month of January, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy the content and stuff. So, free Pancho, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll pick up on that people, and uh, yeah, start yeah, doing yeah. a bit more social stuff. People in January always feel a bit like shit and deflated, don't yeah, they? Yeah, we're going to make it more relatable to them. But if the thing is... We're going to make it relatable. And I tell you what, that pre-workout thing that he's got, whew, it's like right <laughs> <laughs> Well, but, maybe on one of those days when we, we can come and do the one day for you. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because I, I think the the aim behind it is obviously to get Pancho fit and to inspire yeah. others yeah. through the videos. But I wanna, just, I, I if Pancho go, can do I, it, I go so can it. you. Yeah. So that, that's the whole aim behind it. And then uh, not just for a month, I hope for Pancho at the end of January, <sighs> he carries on what doing what that? he was learning yeah. through the whole the whole month of January. How long did you think about having DC? Two weeks, isn't it? Do you think you would do it? Do you want to do it? Yeah, of course I do, yeah. I, just, I, want, I want to do it for myself. I've got my own reasons for wanting to do it. You yeah. know, and, and you're not going like, to I'm, I'm not scared of sobriety. In and fact, I actually like it. And you're not drinking for the whole... No, I wouldn't drink for the whole of January. That doesn't mean I'm not going to... I like drinking. I will drink after it. But oh, not... no, I say for the, for the month of January. No, you... Oh, for the month of yeah. January, I'm going to be yeah, oh, completely oh, teetotal. I'm going to have my beady eyes at him. Yeah, that's yeah. Pancho, what are you doing the off-license? Oh, he's just getting a cork and some nuts. <laughs> so you're going to be in Cardiff, <laughs> I'm going to be in Cardiff the majority Maybe of the time. Maybe you should yeah. give back and come to the, the, the homeless drop-ins. 
Yeah. I've, I've, I've done Buzz. stuff like that in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave up my Christmas day, day a few years back. Did to you? Yeah. The kitchen, yeah. It's terrible out there at the moment, isn't it? It looks, it looks. Oh, sad. mate, us. Yeah. Uh, you like, like, oh, you were saying who's that guy you just died? Yeah, Paddy. Paddy, Paddy so yeah. The guy you uh, used to sit outside uh, Burger King. Uh, and do you know what's funny? He done a Wales Online interview. A week before. No, because I, I seen yeah. it on, yeah. He was in the paper and, uh, about being on the streets and not, not knowing if we're going to survive the winter. And lo and behold, he, he, he passed away. Well, was Rest in peace, Paddy. You know? <clears throat> oh, I don't know the cause of death, but I know he went in because he was having problems with his stomach. He had a bad stomach. No, I and know. he's gone in and, uh, yeah, he's basically... Blister pops uh-huh. or something, or? Um, it could be something like that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like a give me something like yeah. that. Really sad, really sad because you're in Cardiff, Pritch. You know what it's like. It is full oh. of homeless people. And in 2023, we shouldn't be having homeless people. People go, yeah, but they use drugs. I so don't give what? a fuck. People should still be allowed to use drugs in their house. You should have a house. Yeah, but it's like if you take drugs, you know, that's all right. But, <laughs> but I, yeah, no, I know. Insane, like yeah. I go, I go running, like I go running around the city centre sometimes. I, I, Early. Like four, early in the morning. It's quite nice just to see everyone, like party people. Yeah, and the that. amount of homeless people I see is... I'm just, and I'm running and going, wow, man. Yeah. And it's freezing. Look at the weather we've had. Wow. It's, it's, yeah, it's, you it's, know, it's, oh, and the worst so. is yet to come. And not just that, right? You know, you've got like the Huggard Centre in these hostels, yeah? They're too scared they're to stay in them, they're too scared to go there because the drugs are just as bad. And that's where the, the like, you know, the predators who are... You know, preying on those people to take their money, their drugs and shit. They don't want to go there. Yeah. The hostels are worse. And then people go, so what are we supposed to do? I, I don't know. Um, I think I think they should be given houses. Regardless of what they do in their house, you know, there should be support for that as well. We're in the year 2023. We're on about going to fucking space and shit. And Elon Musk building these fucking things. Why ain't our people housed? You know? That's what, I I honestly don't get it. There's, all, there's always money for war, but there's never money for... These people suffering on well, the streets yeah. and, 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 you know, the families who have got roofs over their head can't even afford to feed their, their kids because yeah. the food's just got so goddamn yeah, expensive. It's, it's right, just, it's I don't know, like I said earlier, we're just going backwards. We're not yeah. going forwards. Well, some people are going forward. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Christmas then, yeah? What are you going to have for your dinner then? Is it just going to be all pure? Uh, if there's no turkey, what do you have? What do I have? Yeah. My, I'm going to, I'm going to my mum's for Christmas. Um, Christmas Day this year. I'm going to I'm going to Ireland. I'm going to Ireland tomorrow. Nice. Uh, to do Keira's family's Christmas and stuff. She's and Irish. I, she's Irish. Yeah, she's from Dublin. Trying to spend time with her family and stuff for a week, and then Christmas uh, Christmas Day, I'm going to run my mams. And, and she'll she she just I think she'll cook a meatloaf or something like that, and, and just loads of vegetables and stuff. Yeah, roast potatoes done in coconut oil rather than goose fat and stuff. Yeah. Have you done like a like for your dirty vegan? Books? Have you ever done like a, a Sunday roast menu? Uh, like no, know. I haven't. No, but I, I've just I literally this week I've been filming a lot of content which I'm putting out next next week. Nice, be good, man. I've been having fun with it. I've just yeah. dressed up, I dressed up as Father Christmas in my house, and I've just <laughs> my, 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 my missus has been upstairs listening to me like, doing piece, oh, pieces to the camera, and she's like. What the fuck are you doing down there? But you know, it's been good, man. Just yeah. been just cooking and just having a filming, editing and stuff. And that's what, that's what I've been doing all week. Exactly. Yeah. I've enjoyed really it. good. Have you learned all this yourself? I do everything myself, yeah. So I, I, I'm, I really enjoy doing it. And I've just learned, I haven't sort of picked up Final Cut Pro. Which, so as soon as I get, and I can spend my Christmas learning how to use that edit suite, because I got some new camera gear and stuff. Okay. So then I will make be able to make longer videos and I can kill all the birds at one, one stone. stone yeah. Because I can do YouTube, because I want to grow my YouTube next year. And, yeah. and, then, and then with that edit suite, I can do stuff for TikTok, Instagram, Facebook as well. Are you are you like officially part of the TikTok community end? What do you mean? Like oh, you mean like a, 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 accept, accepted by him? It's just no, mad characters I, on there, isn't it? No, I, I don't know. I just put my stuff up on that. You don't, you're not on there, like, as in, you know, you don't do lives on there and speak I to do li- I do lives, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just every, about once a week. Yeah. So, you, yeah, you're plugged in with your community, like. Yeah, just answer their questions and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Gaz That's Oakley quite is uh, a guest we've had on you. Oh, you, Gaz, you know, Gaz is cooking. Oh, man. 
If you haven't done next, anything with him. He messaged me once. He said, oh, do you want to go? Because um, he knew I, I, I like going hiking and stuff. And he lives not far from. He lives in Bournemouth, but, though. Yeah, so he said, do you want to do um, uh, Sugarloaf for the morning? Early in the morning. I said, yeah, let's do it. So I just climbed, hung out with him for the morning. Got to the top. He, he opened uh, a load of vegan cheese and crackers. We had vegan cheese and crackers at the top. And Romantic. Back down. It was quite romantic, man. <laughs> but no, he's a nice, yeah. he's a nice guy, man. He's and, he and he's he he's next level chef, man. He's just he's unreal, man. It's it's food. He's, I went to his restaurant in the neighborhood when he set the the pop up. Yeah. And uh, most of the most of the food on the plate was that he would grown in his back garden, the veg and stuff. So yeah, it was good. Enjoyed it. Yeah, amazing. What about you, Hans? You uh, what are you doing for Christmas? Just be, um, yeah, working up until, well, the shop and that'll hopefully be nice and busy up until Christmas Eve and then just kick back and just chill out till Christmas. <sighs> What's that feeling, <laughs> Bush? That? That's fucking strong, that is, mate. Strong stuff, huh? <laughs> Fuck it, no. Kick back, quick climb, move your body, waist, yeah. <laughs> It's fucking strong as fuck, that, mate. Put it in your chest, Bush. Yeah. So yeah, you're gonna um, you're gonna yeah, just take family. it easy, cook, chill, yeah, family, yeah, just take it easy, man. You get pants? You get easy? Well, um, no, no, well, nothing really in New Year. Yeah, maybe like a little breakaway somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Well then, uh, yeah, January, look out, shop through the system coming through. If you uh, if you, have, about you have a struggle, on. you have a struggle, mate. You know. If you ever struggle with him, like to keep a track on him in January, give me a shout. I'll be there to talk to the line with you. We'll have to check in though. It'd be, it'd be interested to see. Yeah, I, I know. I think you're going to do really well. I'm really looking forward yeah, to I it. Do. I think he is. Just, I think you are. Yeah. I'm 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 but could we? I, I took him to Chris Ware, Wayne House Swansea the other week, and I honestly thought he was going to puke and he was going to be shit. But oh, fucking hell, you puke. put it, put the fucking good uh, bit yeah, of grind it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like you, you could see you. I could see on your face you enjoyed doing what you were doing. Yeah, yeah. I do. Like you do. You want like oh, it's just the initial. It's just, just the initial get up and go, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's just like oh, I don't need to look for it. That's all. You never regret a workout, do you? Yeah, yeah, it's fair enough. So one question I want to ask you probably before we, we, we wrap up and stuff is, what is probably your most out of all the things you've done with Dirty Sanchez? Uh, all the stuff. Like, what, what's your most memorable time? Like, your most memorable period? Would you say? Uh, well, I'd I'd say filming, filming the movie, skate, skate, skateboarding, and back in like back in the day, it was just that. I um, mean, those those days. You know, when we were younger, yeah, it was just amazing. You know, yeah, we were, didn't have a care yeah, in the world, out, yeah, and it was just. Carefully. And then yeah. when Sanchez, when Sanchez happened before, uh, that that was, yeah, you couldn't have asked for that really. We were getting paid to. We were fucked very lucky. We were getting paid to get fucked up and have a laugh with your mates. You, you know, that's fucking. You, not many people get that chance today. So yeah. I, I definitely say skateboarding, and the Sanchez day, fun. Yeah, good times. Right. Yeah, um, I think, uh, yeah, with all the traveling and stuff like that, you know, um, yeah, being, going into a completely, you know, going into to Mexico and people knowing your fucking name and calling them for tequila. <laughs> yeah, that's mad. And everything else that comes with tequila, <laughs> that type of tequila. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. remember? Oh, yeah. yeah the mm -hmm. realization that, fuck me. When you've started to do something that you've always done for a laugh, and then you get it paid, it's just like, whoa, this is fucking nice. <laughs> it's surreal. Very, man. very surreal. Yeah. And yeah, I'm very grateful. And what, and, and, all right, that's your most memorable, your most fucking frightened moment, the, the time where you thought I was going to fucking die. Going out on the piss with him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did start to question myself when I was in the fucking, when I was in, Surgery in Thailand, having a fucking Thai doctor <laughs> fucking <laughs> taking away my fucking yeah, and my side thinking, why the fuck am I doing this? Yeah, it's only meant to be a TV show. <laughs> yeah, that's mad. That's I think, mad. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, uh, yeah, getting stabbed, I think. 
in for, yeah. in Norway at that time in Norfolk and I got that on that's honestly when I I honestly thought I was gonna be brown bread. But um yeah. But that wouldn't lead to the show, but it is like, that is huh? I forgot. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, when you said it just I came into my head yeah. then I was like, Oh fuck yeah. Well, what was, was that guy's beef then? What? Just a fucking mad guy, really. He's been shot. Oh, he was a he was um smack it, yeah. What, did he know you were? He was like... Uh, no, I don't know. No, he didn't. I don't know. In fact, he's, he's dead. He's dead now. He died. He got five, he got five years and he died. I think he died in prison or he, I think he might have died when he got out. I don't know. Some guy, some, his mate messaged me on social media and said, oh, that was, he passed away. I'll fuck for that. <laughs> well, he's, oh, got, he's, he's, got, he's got a mother and father and brothers. No, so, I know. You know but like, like, the guy messaging you, did that bring up any, like, tri- did that trigger at all? Yeah, I used to be really uncomfortable talking about it. I used to, I used to get yeah, quite emotional, but, um, but, but I'm quite I'm quite easy with it now. But um, yeah. Where did he stab you? In the, on the neck and the chest. You still got in the door somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then all down there. What? Was it like and that? they had, I had an internal, internal, external stitches. Oh, it was a it was a bad stabbing. Then. Oh yeah, yeah. It was, he did a he did a good job. You did it with a, but you look like like a half moon thing, and you push the blade out. One of them. Oh, Jay Yeah. You probably the world of me. Fucking but um, <clears throat> yeah. It's, yeah. Still here. Yeah. You still yeah, That's <laughs> the main thing. Yeah. Oh well, guys. Honestly, I've uh, enjoyed having a catch up with you. It's been nice. Thanks uh, for having us, Cole. Of course, yeah, of cheers. course, always. Um, good luck. I think I'll need it. Good luck for January. Cheers. Um, all the best to you. All the best to you. I'm sure you'll do really well, mate. It's nice. To Honestly, work. I'm sure you'll do really well. And I'm sure it won't be the last time we'll uh, we'll see you anyway. Uh, Pritch as well. Good luck with everything. Cheers, mate. I'm Thanks sure uh, you'll have your work cut out with him, but I'm sure he'll do well. I'm confident in you, to be honest. Yeah, we'll see. We'll keep a close eye. We'll keep a close eye, innit? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah, good luck with everything. Good luck with the alcohol brand and... Uh, and and the the third book will you have a fourth coming soon maybe? Uh, I don't know. Just wait and see. Yeah. If they love me, then happy days. Yeah. All right, then. Well, thank you so much, guys. Guys, thank you for watching. Um, hope you all have a wonderful new year, and uh, yeah, stay close and, and and tune into Pancho's journey in January. And uh, I'll you. see you all soon. We stay wish central. you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Yeah. Yeah. The Central Club.